Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to the Wednesday message, week 38, which is the fourth week of Rank Advancement Month. Next week is the Rank Advancement Week. We launched the B to Be the Change Million Dollar Bonanza, guys, which means, all right, there's many people as qualified. There's a million dollars to be given and given and given to those who qualify for a share. All right. Uh, and don't worry, no matter what happens, your share is guaranteed to be worth $80 a share, guys. I'm so excited because this is one of the early uh, bonanzas or pot of gold, as we called it, that we did so many years ago. I was talking to Aruna, Sati, David, and we were remembering how crazy those times are. And today, a few hours ago, it's 5 o'clock in the morning right now. Finish all my calls, talking to everyone, super excited. And I was earlier in the office speaking to the V Elite Leaders. For those, for those of you who do not know, we have the V Ambassadors, which is the V Council, the AVP, and the Great V Partners. And one step, one rank, just below the V Ambassadors, is this new rank that we created a few years ago in the V called the V Elite Leaders. And this is your first step of being recognized as a leader in the V and your first step to get into the unbelievable world of being called the V Council, AVP or V Partner as a V Ambassador. And I was addressing this concept of leadership. All right, I think this concept of leadership is something I didn't understand when I got into a QNet or network marketing. All right, and I want you guys to listen to this. And sometimes when I talk about leadership, everyone who's brand new says, why is he talking about leadership? It doesn't apply to me. Let me tell you the things I know about leadership today in network marketing, in this journey to financial freedom. I wish I knew it before I signed up or the day I signed up. Now, I was lucky enough to have a mentor and upline like the one in Oedato Sri Vijay who prepared me for leadership, even though I only had 20 downlines, 30 downlines. He consistently built me to understand that ultimately, for you to be financially free for the freaking rest of your life and the next generation and the next generation, the key is to first be a great networker and never stop being a networker. And the other key is to understand the definition of leadership in this industry, guys. All right, now let me explain why leadership is important, especially for those of you all who are watching, who are brand new, who just signed up. Welcome to the greatest journey of your life. And for those who are already building, but have challenges being a leader or being respected as a leader, let me explain to you in a simple form. Now, in network marketing, leadership is very different. The leadership that we are used to is what you see in the outside world. It's called leadership by authority. That means your parents, okay, they are your leaders by authority. You have no choice but to freaking listen to dad or mom until a certain age when you become independent. All right, your boss in the company, that's leadership by authority. They carry a title, they carry powers, they can punish you, they can reduce your, your, your salary or, or fire you, all right? Now, in network marketing, there's no such thing as leadership by authority. It does not exist. Wake up and smell the coffee. Your tracking center belongs to you, all right? You can max it out, even if your upline hates you, even if you hate your upline. You can be truthful. You can confront whoever you want. It doesn't matter, all right? The true leadership in network marketing is leadership by influence, respect that you earn, leadership by love, leadership by rhythm, raising yourself to help mankind, leadership by service or servant leadership. Now, this is languages that you do not truly understand because you come from a world of leadership by authority. And the biggest mistake networkers make and the networkers who lose their downlines very fast. And uh, 
and networkers who cannot sustain their downlines and lose all their downlines during a crisis or even downlines who break away from them and want to deal direct with the V. The reason for this, because the natural tendency of a person who becomes a leader in network marketing is to practice leadership by authority, which means I am your upline, shut up and listen to me. Does not work. It's moronic. That's how you lose your people. Because you have to understand the logic. If you do not earn the respect of your downlines, if you do not convince them that you are a good leader, please follow me. If you do not serve them, they will leave you and walk away from you. And you cannot do anything. Because that tracking center is their legal right to go and build it on their own. And sometimes you hear about stories of downlines, unhappy with uplines and they, you know, all these kind of stories. It only because it's not anyone's particular fault. It's an understanding mistake. It's a cultural mistake that you bring the normal world into network marketing. And what is the normal world? Leadership by authority. I am your boss. I am your upline. I am the God. You know, you must shut up and listen to me. Moronic. It does not exist in network marketing. In network marketing, you have to convince people to follow you. You got to earn their respect. You got to earn their loyalty. Like Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, my uplines. I don't follow them. I'm not their student, right? Because of the title they carry as a founder. I follow them and I respect them and I will. I, I'm so lucky to be the downline. It's because of how they have demonstrated their leadership to me. So in network marketing, leadership has nothing to do with power, nothing to do with dictatorship, nothing to do with authority. Leadership in network marketing is about service, love, care, all right, respect, value proposition that you give your organization. And then you'll be surprised. They will follow you forever. They will stay with you through the worst and most challenging crises I have seen. And no amount of money, no amount of power, right, can retain people's love and respect for you. Right? You only earn their love and respect by what you do, who you are. So today I was talking to the V elite leaders. All right? The first rule of leadership that you must be prepared is that success is important. People follow successful people. People do not like following hypocrites. People do not like following people who talk a lot but don't achieve anything. So your success is a fundamental element in earning the respect of your downlines. And don't worry, I understand. Not everybody can be successful fast. Not everybody can be successful consistently. But it doesn't matter. As long as you demonstrate success mentality, success commitment, success dedication and create results, your downlines will follow you, your downlines will respect you. Success is important. I follow Japa and Datu Sri because of their success, not only financially, but their ability to retain and build a network for 24 years, for them to retain and hold their leaders even through difficult times. Their personal lives as men, as husbands, as brothers, as sons, right, has also earned respect tremendously. So success is one element. And the second element is not what you say. A lot of people think that you've got to be a great trainer and you have to go up there and mesmerize people. Yes, that's an added advantage. But it's not what you say and what you do that matters. As I was telling the leaders today, it's who you are. This is fundamentally important. Network marketing is a place where hypocrisy cannot exist. You have to walk the talk. You have to be who you say you are. Because your downlines are constantly in your zone. Your downlines are constantly watching you. You can't tell them you are the hardest working upline and you are dedicated to their dreams and every weekend they see you clubbing everywhere and going for holidays for three weeks. Go for holidays once you retire, once you're financially free. Go for long, well-deserved holidays. But right now, you've got to manage that what you say and who you are matches. The biggest problem in network marketing is what people say on stage does not match with who they are. And then you lose the respect because people hate hypocrites. Right? You cannot follow a hypocrite. 
right? I have followed Dato Sri and Japa for so many years because they walk the talk, right? What you see them on stage, off stage, everywhere is the same. They are these two great men who kept their promises for 24 years to me and millions of people around the world. So it's who you are that's important, that you have to evolve your way of life, that today you are going to be responsible. You are responsible. Maybe to one person, two persons, two thousand people, it doesn't matter. But you are responsible for people. And this requires you to live life a certain way that I always tell people to be a great networker, you must also be a great son, a great brother, a great husband, or wife, or sister, or daughter, a father, a mother. You've got to be a great human being, you've got to be a great citizen to your, to your country, you've got to be a great friend. Because that creates a value system in you that means so much to your downlines. Because your downlines are watching to you and they consistently question. And let me guarantee you, they consistently question your value proposition to them. What value are you giving them? That they should stay loyal and follow you and listen to you and apply what you say. This is a fundamental question. So you have to be success-minded. You've got to walk the talk. You have to be the person you say you are. And, and, you, your, and the third one is your value proposition to your downlines. If you have nothing to give them, they're not going to follow you. So you have to give them consistently motivation, positivity, answers, training, all right, support. Okay, you've got to be there for them. Do not during the sunny days. You forget their birthday, they will forgive you. But when they are in the crisis, you better be holding their hand because that they will remember if you abandon them during a tough time. And this is what I've always realized. And this is what I've learned by watching Japa and Tato Sri Vichy. Right? That your value proposition to your organization must consistently grow. Right? Only then will they have faith and trust in your leadership. If you have, don't give them anything new, you don't consistently give, they're going to lose faith in you. And when they lose faith in you, your network will collapse. Like Dr. C. V. J. says, the day you decide to become a leader, you must learn how to give and give some more and give some more. And when it hurts and you have to make tremendous sacrifices every single day, you do it and you give some more and you give some more and you give some more because that's what a leader does. Right? And the next point or final point this Wednesday message is your growth. Everyone talks about, oh gee, my checks have been, your checks cannot grow without your growth. I've said this millions of times. And the reason why it's so important to grow because now you have a group of people who are following you. Right? You are their leader. It's not a position of glitz and glamour. It's a position of duty and responsibility. You stay awake at 5.15 in the morning and record a Wednesday message no matter what happens in your life. You have to do this. You have to go on stage at VCon and give your best. You've got to be consistently in service. All right? your, 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 your personal needs have to be pushed aside that the needs of your downlines will always take priority. That's a leader that Japa and Dato Sri built in me. And that's the kind of leader they are. I've seen them sacrifice time with their family, uh, sacrifice personal choices in order to serve their millions of downlines in the B family. And I, monkey see, monkey do. I watch them and I learn. That's the only kind of leadership I know. Right? So leadership is not only about glitz and glamour. It's about duty, responsibility, servant leadership. And you have people today who look up to you. They respect you. They want to follow you. Right? But if you are crawling, they will be crawling. If you are struggling to hit your next check, they will be struggling to hit their next check. If you have lost faith in your dreams, they will lose faith in their dreams. If you are no longer running and flying like a maniac consistently, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, non-stop. Right? That's what you need to do. Because now you've got a large group of people following you and saying, where are we going, leader? Where are we going? We're following you. So imagine this is you and this is your organization here. If you don't rise, they don't rise. If you rise too slow, they rise too slow. And the slower they rise, more people drop out. Because people want to see results. People want their dreams to become a reality. 
So you have to keep rising and rising and rising so they can rise. When they see you succeed, their faith in their own success grows. So you have no choice but to evolve, but to change, but to grow and pay the price every single day. This is what leadership is about. So if you're planning to build an organization, if you want to be a leader in network marketing, if you want to be a leader in QNet, you want to be a V elite leader, these great people I spoke to yesterday, or a VC, AVP, V partner one day, inshallah. You have to understand, leadership in network marketing is not the leadership you know out there. It's not about power and money and dictatorship. It's about service. It's about love. It's about care. It's about walking the talk. It's about who you are, not what you do. It's about giving and giving and giving until it hurts and you give some more. It's about keeping your promises to 20 people, 200 people, 2,000 people, 20,000 people. doesn't make a difference. A promise is a promise. And monkey see, monkey do. Ultimately, that's what it is. And the reason I'm here today after 24 years doing what I do it's because I was brought up, I was built by the two greatest leaders I know, Japanese Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwar. Not the traditional world leaders, but our industry leaders, our world leaders. People who created the statement called servant leadership. A mission statement, raise yourself to help mankind, which is our mantra until today. And if you raise enough people, you will rise very high. And ultimately, your goal, financial freedom, your dreams becoming a reality, it's connected back to how good a networker you are. But ultimately, it's how great a leader you become. And it's not, it's never too early to start. You go one downline, you start practicing the culture of leadership of the V. You're very different from the rest of the world. So ultimately, be the best leader you are meant to be. But never stop being the great networker you are meant to be. And ultimately, remember the promises you have made to one person or a million people. Doesn't matter. As a leader, every promise you make, you must keep. I love you guys. See you at Nikon.